Do you want to have your say on whether there should be an immigration amnesty way beyond what the government has said 12 months for survivors of the Grenfell Tower fire? Anyone, I think, directly, any foreign national directly affected by the Grenfell Tower fire to be allowed to stay in the UK for 12 months regardless of their immigration status. Home Office saying it would not conduct immigration checks on survivors and those coming forward with information. Anybody who thinks like I do, that 12 months doesn't go nearly far enough, and I'll come to this as well, that it doesn't make sense either. Alternatively, if you think, actually, no way, this isn't fair. These people are here illegally, or some of them, if they turn out indeed to be here illegally. No way. The law is the law. And even though you've been through that, after 12 months, perfectly reasonable to say goodbye to you. Tim called earlier, he wasn't the only one, he thinks, no, absolutely not. Straight to Heathrow Airport, please. This makes sense. Part of, I think, the, the reason for this suggestion by the government, or suggestion, this, this pledge by the government, is that it doesn't want people to hold back from going to the authorities to say, look, we, we know we, we are safe, or we know someone who is safe. But, but if you were to find out if you, were, if you were illegal and, and you faced deportation in 12 months' time, possible deportation in 12 months' time, would you really come forward and say that you were safe? I hope you would, of course. I'm not discouraging you from doing so. But would you? And that's one of my worries about this initiative by the government. My other worry is that if you've been through something as devastating as my neighbours around the corner from me in Grenfell Tower went through, and I'm looking now at, at a picture of the burnt out building on an article I'm looking at. If you went through that, I saw it smoking from my own rooftop on the morning it happened. If you went through that, surely the very least you deserve is for the British state to say, OK, you were here illegally. That was wrong. You shouldn't be here illegally. We don't encourage or endorse illegal immigration. But in these circumstances, it is entirely right for you to be made to have an, to, to be to be an exception this very strongly but i've already taken calls this morning from those of you who disagree with me and i'm really happy to do so again so do call me if you disagree but also if you agree the home office according to the guardian i'm looking at now they've said the home office announced a temporary 12 month immigration amnesty so called amnesty for survivors and Brandon Lewis, who is the immigration minister, he told MPs this week that the move was in recognition of the fact that some foreign nationals directly affected by the fire did not wish to engage with the authorities because of their concerns about their unresolved immigration status or because their permission to stay in Britain was about to expire. The announcement means that the Home Office will not conduct checks on residents of Grenfell Tower and Grenfell Walk or those coming forward to provide information to help the authorities in their inquiries. But the Shadow Home Secretary, Diane Abbott, a woman with whom I have not always agreed, she welcomed the announcement, but said that the 12-month amnesty didn't go far enough. This is what she did say. She said, I'm pleased to see the government has met the request I raised in the Commons on Monday for an immigration amnesty for Grenfell survivors. Without an immigration amnesty, there may well be people we never know about and too many people who need help who will not receive it. But this does not go far enough to ensure the confidence of those affected. Why would they, she says? Why would they? volunteer their details, knowing that in just 12 months they could face deportation. The amnesty must be indefinite to be truly effective. But surely it is also just common human decency to extend to people permanent residency have been so badly let down by the British state, in my view, but not just so badly let down, also to have gone through what they've gone through. Imagine how long it might take to rebuild your life. Might, might not take very long at all if you're lucky, but it could well take months, years, decades even to get over or, or get close to getting over. Living through an inferno like that that may have taken the life of your child or the lives of your children. Where everything you owned in your life, photographs, whatever it is, has burnt down before your eyes. Surely we as a British people owe those people compassion. I certainly think we do. What do you think? Let's go first, I think, to Richard in Wandsworth. Morning, Richard. Hi, Matt. Um, unfortunately, I don't agree with the previous speaker whose general direction of policy would merely be to act as a massive incentive to people to increase their efforts at illegal immigration 
Massively. Well, so they could come to this country and, and, and with, with any luck have their house burned down and then, and then get indefinite leave to remain? I mean, come on. I didn't say that, did I, Matt? What I said was his uh, suggestion that um, amnesty should be generous and permanent. And more, uh, and more wide than the tower, do you mean? Exactly. Uh, um, uh, sh- uh, should be uh, the route that uh, is taken. And I'm saying that um, any, any policy of that sort automatically adds to the push factor um, with illegals trying to uh, use whatever means to get into the country. You know, uh, the, we, we've got to remember that uh, the majority of people probably, or at least a big percentage of the people who burnt in that tower were legitimate British citizens. Okay. So, as horrific things happened to them as did to the illegals. I don't like that word, illegals, because we're talking about our fellow human beings. Well, yeah, but, I mean, are they illegals or not? They have. They may well, some of these people have had, and we don't know, illegal well, status. Why the word, Matt? Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you about? why, because I think language, when we're talking about people in vulnerable positions, and if you, are, if you do have an illegal status in this country, you are almost by definition in a vulnerable position, I think we should use more compassionate language, because I think tone and language matters when we describe each other. OK, but um, getting back to the philosophical arguments about this um the other main point is that people who get into this country illegally are generally thought to be the strongest and best off financially people amongst um the entire uh population of uh, say the word illegals um across north africa and the middle east Okay, it's not the helpless women and kids who are getting in, by and large. It's the young men and people like this who are actually in a position to forcefully use whatever means to get into the country and have the financial muscle to do it. Give me an example of someone forcing their way into the UK. No, I didn't say forcing their way in. I said forcefully. In what way can you be f- can, can can you exercise that sort of force? Give me give me an example of what you mean by that, just so I understand where you're coming from. Okay, an example is that people who um, hide around railway trains, on uh, hanging on chassis and things like this. Okay, it's a terrible thing to be doing, but women risking your life, by large, cannot be doing things like that, can they? Old ladies can't be doing things like that. They are the people who are stuck in the refugee camps. Richard, tell, t- tell me is, this, because I understand your point. Listen, I understand your point about wi- wider amnesties. I can see your argument that it might act as a, a, as a pool, as a, as a lure. But on, on, on the specific question of the Grenfell Tower survivors, given what they've been through, would you support me in calling for a lifelong right to live in this country? No, I would say... Um, You've got to do two things. You've got to support the um, opposition to illegal immigration into this country, number one, and you've got to be nice to these people because they've been through a terrible time. How nice, though? How long should they be allowed to live here, in your view? Uh, I haven't got a clue, but it should not be unlimited. I disagree with him, but he's made his point. Richard in Wandsworth.